what I what I find very fascinating is that the majority of people that cross over from Mexico to the U.S. are little kids, or pretty much kids of your age, actually even younger. Sí, y yo sé que muchos de los que cruzan la frontera también son niños a lo mejor de su edad o más pequeños que ustedes. So you guys really don't don't take it for granted the fact that you guys live here. And sometimes your parents may be a little nicer to you guys. Because they have struggled and they have been through a tough life. Because they've lived a tougher life, so they they'll either they, they'll either give you the tough side of them or they'll be so they'll be so nice to you guys, they'll overwhelm you guys and pretty much they'll spoil you guys. Y a lo mejor sus papás son muy duros o son muy, muy suaves con ustedes. Y a lo mejor ustedes, a lo mejor son niños mimados o consentidos. Vaya. But in every successful story, you can look at any, 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 uh, you can look at uh, Messi, uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, you can look at any of these soccer players, this is what they all have in common, is that the fact that they've all struggled. Y en la historia de todos los jugadores, refiriéndome a Messi, a Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, en la historia de ellos, tienen una etapa donde todos batallaron o sufrieron. So, you guys remember, because there's a lot of people that may be good and may be get, getting close to success, but sometimes you'll get so good that, that you almost won't believe it, or, you're, or you'll psych yourself out, and, and, and when you're about an inch or two inches close from winning the game, you guys will tend to let, 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 go, of the, let, let go of the pedal. Yes, sí, y puede... Y puede ser que a lo mejor ya ganan tantos juegos o son tan buenos y muchas veces ya cuando estás alcanzando como otra victoria así como que le bajas la velocidad, le quitas el pie al pedal. Al pedal. So you guys remember, I'm telling you guys from experience, I became the best in the world in a sport uh, and, and, and pretty much the Olympic Games where you're more likely to get struck by lightning than to become Olympic champion. Sí, yo me convertí en el mejor del mundo en un deporte donde eh, tienes más posibilidades de que te caiga un rayo a que ganes una medalla de oro. You're talking about you're more likely to get struck by lightning, you're more likely to win the lottery, or you're more likely to become a certain president of a certain country than to become an Olympic champion. Y me convertí yo en el mejor en el ganador de una medalla en un deporte donde tienes más posibilidades de convertirte en presidente de una nación o ganarte la lotería que ganar una medalla de oro. I mean, it's every four years, but this is just like one particular sport, and everything for me started off with inspiration. Y es cada cuatro años y todo empezó conmigo con uh, inspirando con una inspiración. So my question is here today for you guys is who is your inspiration? And you can find inspiration in anybody. I found inspiration in my mom, the fact that she would work every single day, working two hour shifts, maybe like your parents are doing probably today to feed me and to encourage me to become the best in the world. Y les quiero preguntar, ¿en quién se van a inspirar ustedes? Yo encontré la inspiración en mi mamá, eh, viendo que ella tenía dos trabajos a la mejor, como algunos de sus padres aquí. And you know, working 16 hour shifts, and then coming home and feeding me, and and still be still telling me that I could become the best in the world. Y viéndola trabajar hasta 16 horas al día y todavía venir a la casa y alimentarme a mí y decirme que yo podía ser el mejor y que podía ser campeón en lo que yo quisiera. Yeah, so you guys remember, you don't, it doesn't have to be Michael Jordan, it doesn't have to be Messi. Your inspiration could be with your parents. I'm not saying you should be doing what they're doing. But look up to their hard work, their dedication, the fact that they want to do it with dignity every single day, like it was the first day they've done it. Y no tiene que ser eh, inspirados por un Messi. Eh, la inspiración a lo mejor está en sus padres, viéndolos el trabajo tan duro que hacen. No necesariamente hacer lo que ellos están haciendo, pero ver lo que están haciendo con dignidad. Mucho trabajo. El aporte es padre, los padres de ustedes vienen con las con las con las manos uh, rotas o, o 
llena de sangre, de, de, no sé. Y les digo, porque yo les cuento porque mi mamá era así, mi mamá llegó del trabajo, con veces porque trabajaba mucho y a veces no, no dormía, llegaba con los dos, con los ojos negros. You know, she, would, she would come home with two black eyes because she would work so much and I admire that. I admire the fact that she would do it and she would do it with no excuse. Y yo recuerdo a mi mamá que venía así con ojeras, con, con ojeras y yo la veía y eso me inspiraba y lo hacía trabajar tanto y no se quejaba, no, no ponía ninguna excusa. But I want to share a quick story with you guys. It's the fact that, remember I was telling you guys that 10% of people that cross over to America, or pretty much, yeah, more than 10%, actually 60% of the people that cross over to America are little kids. And, and I was at this immigration detention center, mm -hmm. it was Pero, probably about two miles away from yo, yo les quiero contar una historia brevemente. Recuerden que les estaba diciendo que los que cruzan el, los porcentajes, y es el 60% de los que cruzan son menores de edad. Y yo estaba en un centro de detención ahí. Sí, creo que está, está ahí, Felipe. Sí, yeah, I was with Felipe. And I saw a little kid that was, uh, who's 11 years old? You guys are all 13, 14? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the youngest guy, 11 years old. He was about that age. I could, felt, I, I could feel that he was trying to get near me. He was kind of, kind of trying to touch elbows with me. Like I was like some type of good luck charm. Y le, yo recuerdo un niño era como de 11 años en ese centro de detención y, y él trataba así como de pegarse conmigo así como que quería llamar la atención. And I asked him, I says, hey man, uh, you know, I talked to him in Spanish and I asked him, to, you know, how to, so won't you, uh, won't you tell me your story? Y yo le pregunté en español y le pregunté al niño, ¿por qué no me dices tu historia? And uh, he says, man, my story is a little hectic and I start to see his, uh, his eyes start to water. And he told me he was, uh, you know, the way he crossed the border, that, that he was pretty much, he was, he was lost for nine. Hey, me estaba diciendo, cuando empecé a platicar con él, empecé a ver los ojos así, como que se le estaban llenando de agua, como que quería llorar, y ya me platicó que se había perdido. And when I said nine, I was already thinking like nine hours, like in the desert by himself. Y cuando me dijo nueve, yo pensé que se había perdido, por ejemplo, como nueve. Uh -huh. Como nueve horas. Como nueve horas. And he said no. He says I was stranded in, in the desert by myself for nine days. Y no me dijo no. No fueron horas. Me perdí en el desierto por nueve días. He says he had he had a he had a gallon of water to survive for nine days. Tenía un galón de agua nomás para sobrevivir nueve días. And he said I think he told me he went three hours without water. I'm oh. sorry, I'm sorry, three days without water. Y me acuerdo que me dijo que pasó tres días sin agua. And, I, and he was the way he was describing it. He said a little kid, a little eleven-year-old kid, was telling me that he was that he could smell death coming. Y a su edad, esos 11 años, dice que él podía oler la muerte. He said, a little kid. He said he got to the point where he could smell death. He said, screw it. I, said, I, 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 I didn't want to smell death anymore. I was waiting for death to come. He said he started slicing his wrist with the rock that was in the desert. Y dice, yo empecé a oler la muerte y yo no, me dio tanto miedo que yo me quería morir más pronto y agarré una piedra y me empecé así a hacer en mis muñecas. And when he showed me with his wrist, I could see the, I could see the 